Mm -hmm. And I was just like, what if you don't, what if it's like not a real iPhone and stuff? Yeah. And he's like, okay, let's go get your iPhone then. First he's like, first he wanted to get it online for a while, then he's finally like, a few minutes later he's like, fine, let's go get it. And then now it's like, while we're in the car, I had no idea where we were going. I was like, wait, are we going to square one? Go to the Apple store? He's like, yeah, where else are you going to get from? The Apple store that movie. Yeah, but I think yeah, but that's expensive. Too. Like oh. seriously. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. about that, but I'm like, I don't know, because it says premium reseller, so I don't know if it's used or if it's like, yeah. It can be used and be, and, re and refurbished. Okay. Are you guys getting anything? Well, Jessica had her like had her food. I'm just I'm just I hungry. Have a small like little sample. I'm waiting until like 4:20. That way, that, you know, we can take food into the theater. Yeah. So what do you guys want to do now? Literally just sit and chill because I'm tired of standing. I bug these two, seriously. Ask Sybil. Uh huh. You do. And Jessica. Seriously, I do bug them. It's fun. Well, you're like the oldest in a month. Jessica's the oldest by years. So I can annoy you all both as a sister. It's true. I told you that I was going to do this. You're like, oh yeah, okay, thank you for letting me know. It's fun. And plus, we don't really have girls' days like this, like, at all. I never have this kind of stuff. Same. I paid for this one's ticket for 50 Shades Free. That movie was so good. I wanted to freaking see the punch scene so good. It's in the Philippines. I know. I have to send it. So do Isaac, I. Isaac, go watch it with me. Wait, did anyone bring candy? I okay. did. Okay, good. I have um, licorice and sour. Gummy worms over here, and I had and I got mango slices to dry it once because I need to eat those. I'm just like standing like this. So You said to Sybil, like, y'all didn't even exchange numbers yet, so, yeah, like... Yeah, my number. Give me your number. Yeah, so if you're... You actually... You are slick with the red. The red <laughs> iPhone. See? You she she threatened to, to take off WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Oh. Isn't that weird? Yeah, fair. No, that's around the country. Which, I don't even talk to them, but my parents still want me to just in case and stuff. Oh, what's your number? 647. Nine three nine. Nine three nine. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Gotta go behind me. So you used to say to doctors. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I know. You know how many times? Okay, so did somebody go get a pass? Mm -hmm. I think he did it. Okay, tell me to get a pass. I'm like, okay, we will. And I told him it hurt when I put the charger thing on it. And I'm like, okay, we'll send you to this thing. And they're like asking me, do you know if um, something that do with your brain, how it like, Oh, the neurology part of your brain? Yeah, how it kills it. And they're like, are you sure you don't have that? Are you sure it's not your um, nerves? Are you sure it's not just your hand that's broken? I'm like, I can hear a pop, like if I hold it like this. Mm -hmm. You can hear a pop. It, I can, it keeps cracking. Did it, did it ever diagnose you to see what's happening with your hand though? I have an appointment on August, 20, August the 16th. October at, you mean? October the 16th. At 11.30. Last year! Minnie Mouse! <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> and then why are you laughing? Like me, I feel like a hyena when I'm laughing. <laughs> you want that? Or you want to hear the like, cutest little... You really sneeze. I'm like, I am. Give me a break. I make fun that you're Minnie Mouse and you're the hyena from Lion King. <laughs> I am. Y'all can have names for me. Like, oh my gosh. Non blinker. <laughs> I, I went with. I think it was you and somebody else I went to go see Twilight with. And we saw it again. Mm -hmm. You didn't blink a whole end of the movie. Your eyes were chased. Okay, first of all, when Paul okay, came. Let's have a debate, by the way. When Twilight first came out, okay, everyone was like, oh my gosh, Edward, the minute that Jacob came a new moon with his six pack, yes, like how in it's six pack, everyone was like, yes, Jacob. So no, I'm not gonna blink during Twilight. No, but it was the last one. The whole thing was a vision from Alice. I was flipping, freaking out. You like, I was like, not Seth, not this, not, I'm like, Boo Boo Stewart was cute. You can't deny that. Well, he is cute around. Boo Boo Stewart was cute. Seth and Twilight, Breaking Dawn. He plays on Leia and Seth. I don't even the remember. Wolf. Oh, I know he's in the Wolf. Yeah, 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 he's in the Wolf. Yeah
is a wolf. I just don't remember his face. Here. <laughs> she had this one has like Twilight in her blood, literally. Seriously, that obsessed? Oh no, Isaac is obsessed. Our freaking Isaac. Is yes, because of his sister. Wolfie, hi. And it's funny because he picked our he picked our relationship song. Guess what it is? What? Um, a thousand years. I knew it. So it was on cheesy. my tongue. Be I love the songs, but I have to have it, I have it um, on my phone <laughs> and night and um, nights kind of thing. It's like it speeds it up a little bit. Literally, it was like heart be fast I have colors and like really. <laughs> it made me like colors really. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's a good song. It yeah. sounds good, but it's so cheesy. Yeah, it is. Super strong now. He played Seth, the younger, the younger brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who that is. I thought he was cute, like, he's you know, like, oh my god. He, and he plays, like, um, That's him ja now. um, Jafar's, what do you call it? Um, Jafar's not Jafar's. Yeah. American? Yeah. That's so, like, Boo Boo Stewart, you cute. Yeah, he he's playing Jafar. See? They're making a third one, apparently. Yes, it's coming out next year. Yeah. Wow. Descendants. To be fair. It's Descendants. Be fair, have you have, watched this? Um, no, but to be fair, they have all the stars like Doug Cameron, uh, Sophia Stewart, Carson, um, Cameron from uh, what's the Jesse name? from Cameron Boyce. Yeah, Cameron Boyce. Cameron Boyce, yeah. Boo Stewart. Yeah. These are all people that they grew up on the Disney Channel, but Boo Stewart. Basically, it's like the villain kids and the good good um, people kids, like from the fairy tales and everything. The, the kids were. The only thing they got me hooked is I want to see who the fuck Mel's dad is, but all I saw was Everyone's thinking that it's like, um... Everybody's thinking uh, that it's a villain, Yeah. But the thing is, Mel doesn't know her full name. It's not just Mel. Lucas <laughs> didn't tell her her full freaking name. Could you, could you imagine not knowing your full name? <laughs> could you imagine? It's just going by Sid. Oh, Jess. And it's not right. Sybil. <laughs> and then you realize, my mom is keeping my full name from me. Shit. Oh, shit. By the way, my, my nephew was like, Sybil sounds like an evil name. <laughs> Be okay, only because he only because he watched Vampire Diaries. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get it. So I was like, that's, that's my best friend's name. He was like, oh, like she's not evil. <laughs> and my friend Shamar, he's a rapper. He um didn't even know that Lincoln's son was my nephew. How do you not put that yeah. together? Cause I, don't, I, I, I remember Lincoln. He's not like around, so he didn't really see me with you know him it's growing yeah, up. Like, it's common sense. Yeah. He was like, "Yeah, this is dang on my nephew." He was like, he was, his face was like dumb found it. <laughs> like, are you dumb? No, but eighteen year old. Lincoln, I'm pretty two. Doesn't Lincoln's son call you? Auntie or something? Auntie Savannah. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that give it away right away? He didn't call me at really the time because... Auntie Savannah? <laughs> wow. I thought he'd just call you Savannah since you guys are so close in age. He knows. He knows I'll beat his ass either way. I'm pretty really? Sure. I would I'm not sure care. If, if I had like a nephew or niece around my age, I would not care. Yeah, but the thing is, it's more of the fact that he knows I'm his friend, but he also knows that I'm going to put him in his place if I see something so cut right the line. Plot. Yeah. <laughs> And plus, okay. he got money for his birthday, that I pay, and I paid for his haircut, too. For his birthday. So we had to go to a game with fresh haircut. A basketball game. Yeah. You're welcome. I love my nephew. And he's 18, so I'm like, I'm 18. You're 18, I'm 22. Wow. Not only all couldn't give me no time to grow up. <laughs> like, literally. Literally, I want to be a godmother. I don't want to just be an auntie. I want to be a godmother. Seriously. Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little kid just ate it. <laughs> oh my god, this is cool though. I was like, but the, the thing is, it's this overpriced. It hasn't changed since like the 19th. The only thing that changed, they added popcorn something. In yeah, home. but no, the thing is that the food cooks never have these, the, the machines. Yeah, but they changed like little things, but the numbers up there. Yeah, they didn't change that. Green. So yeah, the numbers. Right there, yeah. Never changed. And they just got bigger TVs. Mm -hmm. I love the Cineplex, like, no lie. Get why they, they, they literally put little mini TVs together, but they can just get big one TV. I don't know why. I don't know why.
why it has to be raining every time that we go out to the movie theater. Like seriously. I know. The last time it was pouring too. It was like, and my grandma, and my grandmother was so out of it. She like was she was pissed. rude. She was not. In the she mood. was she rude. Was <laughs> the minute we got home, and like she was rude. She was just like annoyed at the fact that you know it was raining. It's like the thing is, I didn't even tell her to walk around. I said, you know what? I'm, I need to run here and run there. I didn't say walk with me. I said, yo, I have to go and deposit money. Then we're gonna go to the then, then we're gonna go to the damn bus terminal. That was it. She was like, oh, my foot hurts. I'm like, Lord. The minute we got home, like, yo, grandma, next time tell me what you're feeling before you actually get to going out. Yeah. So I was like, I don't mind thinking of her. Like, Act Money was a good movie, like seriously good. But it got 23% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not. That was a good ass movie. I was like, I don't know if I want to see this, but I mean, I wanted to hang out with you, so I was like, I'll just go see it, but it was actually really good. Mm hmm. So. I was like, any Teleprey movie he does, like Medea, and you know, I can do better by myself, and the plays, and Acrimony, like those those movies are really good, for real. He does, he puts like his spin on it. And the thing is, he has, he has his own production company. He is so, he is so like amazing. He has, he has the red one. That's the only reason I got the Acrimony, honestly. Because it comes in red. Yeah, I love red. Now I know, now I know she's my sister because we both love red. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. Yeah, money for you. Money, money, money. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, yesterday I was like, I'm not paying for no movie theater stuff. Because they're ripoff. I pay for, like, just a drink, maybe. I'll pay for nachos. I pay, I'll pay for chicken nuggets right now. Oh, God. But I mean, we already have our snacks, so. Yeah. That's true. As, as food for like dinner. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping, I kind of wanted to go to Montana, but then I'm like, I don't know if you guys want to do that. I don't have enough money for Montana. That's the my thing. Dad my dad gave me like $79. Like if it was like the well, first, then 60. yeah, they'd be like, yeah, sure. Okay. It's like the middle of like after the 16th, it's like my checkbook is crying. Yeah. Hello, teens. Have you seen the book club movie? Yeah. It's, um, it's what? No, you, it's you, you have to watch. Uh, they're reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, but they're old people. <laughs> and like uh, pe people find the book, and like a security, a plain security person finds it, and she reads a part of it. She's like, "That's me, or something like that." It was funny. We saw it in the theater when we were watching Fifty Shades Read before the the, tra the trailers and everything. Yeah. And we're like, we have to go see it. The minute we saw the, tra the trailer, we're like, we have to go see it. I don't get with Isaac though. Anytime he sees a Star Wars or a monkey or King Kong or anything sci-fi, we have to. I'm like, <laughs> boys. Unless it's like the Rock Johnson movie, the one with the big gorilla. He saw that. He's like, Rampage, I wanna go, yeah. yeah. He's like, I want to go see that. I'm like, I'm down. Yes, because the rocks in it, so we're <laughs> <Yeah>. good. <laughs> well, any movie he's in, it's pretty good. Yeah, and it's like, I feel like he may he makes. Everyone makes the Fast and Furious franchise great, right? but he makes the like the Hobbs character has like a really good spin on it. He just but makes a character. That, that's the thing. Yeah. And Tyrese is so like, oh my gosh, look he held back production. Fast and Furious 7 was held back because when God rest his soul, Paul Walker passed away, it was held back. So they we're not complaining. To. Only Tyrese is. Well, Props to. to you though, because no why are you doing this to me? It made me laugh. They had to, the guy died. Yeah, so it was like now that Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious 9 is not now like held back, he's mad. But you know what because I don't get? they have a Hobbs and Shaw movie coming out. You know what I don't get? All these movies, okay, so The Incredibles, the film like back in 1990s, like 2000 something. Yeah. They just released Incredibles 2. Right. Mamma Mia was in like the 90s again. Yeah. They're coming out with number two right now. Mm hmm. So they like, came out with it, yeah. Why are you guys like picking old, like, what are they picking old movies out of hat? Like, let's make a they're, sequel. They're seeing, how, they're seeing how good it gets. That's the thing. Yeah, how, they, long, how long does it take you to print a script? A long time for a big production like that, a long time. Mamma Mia. I didn't, I didn't Mama expect Mia. I didn't expect them to come out with a Mamma Mia movie right now. Because the actor, the mother died, the actor that was mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, 
that they want it because they're taking the children nowadays. Like, look at all the Disney movies that we watch: Cinderella, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast. So, like, literally, those movies now. And look what they did for Defendant. And that's good. They use the kids. Do you know what I don't get? Okay, so everybody from the Twilight movies mm -hmm. to um, the 50s, like, Twilight, okay, Twilight to um, Harry Potter, it's hard for those people to get cast. Yeah, because apparently now they're, they're um, so Hollywood doesn't want to hire them no more. Why yeah, not? Rumors. rumors. There's are rumors now. Like, but Emma Swan is objected to everything. Emma, not Emma Swan, Emma Watson. Yeah. Because she's the girl power. She's everything. She, she, was, played Beauty, she played Beauty and the Beast. She's she played great. Belle. And she yeah, wouldn't, wear, really she wouldn't yeah. um, wear a court set that they wanted she to She's like, let me have, like, she wants people, like, the kids to see, like, an actual real girl that has, that doesn't have to have a tight waist. You know what I mean? Like, she's not too thin. She's a director. Yeah. Um, I think the guy who played Harry Potter, Daniel something, is director. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. I think he's director. Yes, I don't think we'll scream from the camera as much anymore. No, because who would Weren't you? Weren't they going to make another Harry Potter movie? Um, yeah, with the kids. Oh, I don't want to see that. Like, this girl got me daughter. watching Harry Potter, like, no lie. But I don't know why, I want to take my mom to see the Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robbins movie. That's oh, yeah. She loves Winnie the Pooh, like, Winnie the Pooh. I need to figure out when it comes out, because if it comes out on her birthday, I'm like, hey, hey, you're going to movie through with me. <laughs> like, I'm paying. Like, I'm paying. I could take, like, literally, I'd be like, the minute it hits, like, me, I'm always thinking, what's the greatest movie coming out now? I want to see Elephant for some reason. It's about a wolf and a person, and a kid. The wolf is an alpha wolf, so it's all separated from its pack. Totally with them as fun, seriously. And I, I saw the trailers from the night, and I was like, are you sure you're going to like this? in the shark movie, I'm like, I want to see it. I want to see some of the eye shorts. I know, so we'll count. I Rose is on a... Who was? Ruby Rose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I, the reason, too. I'm yo, I love Ruby Rose. Man. After Triple X came out, I saw Ruby Rose. I'm like, yo, she has to be in more movies. Come on. No, I saw Triple X. It was just one of them. Nina Dobrev was in it. Yes, I know. <laughs> no, but you know what's funny? Um, uh, Triple X name. was great. Okay, don't listen there. I don't know his name. His real name. So Vin like, Diesel? Yeah, Vin Diesel and Ruby Rose are actually best friends. Then. Yeah. Like, so is Nina tight. Dobrev and Vin Diesel are all like really good friends. Yeah. yeah. Because he's so like nice to get along with, seriously. And she had a difficult pass and so did he. Mm -hmm. Ruby and, Rose? Yeah, because Ruby Rose, she came out and she was going to church school, like Catholic oh, school. Wow. Yeah, like it's hard. And it's really hard because her, her mom fled with her when she was three years old from an abusive, from an abusive father. Yeah. And then the Catholic school, then figuring out that she's gay and the game bully is how she loves because of the Catholic school. She's so pretty though. Yeah, and then Vin Diesel has a gay brother. And I hate people that are like, oh, Vin Diesel's gay. It's like, no, his brother is. But they're like, oh, that's so good. I'm like, so, well, you don't like him if he's gay? Yeah, people are some, just speak, most him, people are hypocrites. Just because him and his brother look alike. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, because I think they think they're twins or something like that. They're not. Um, ben Diesel's brother's like one year younger. Yeah, like so that. it's like, but you gotta, y'all have to get your get your mind away from I'm our gutter. Movie. The darkness mind. Oh. So badly about the kids that have, like, it's basically about kids that have powers, uh -huh. that they're, they're killing off the kids. And certain kids have different powers. Yeah. Like, have you seen Cloak and Dagger? I saw the trailer, it didn't appeal to me. Like, literally. I'm not watching that. Okay, uh, have you seen the. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like in the sea. It's all like these scary movies about the psychic. All scary movies about a psychic? What are you talking about? Yeah, so, the movie I was telling you outside, the Kachinia, the one that has. What's the name? Because I think I heard about it, but I just, like. We're gonna focus on Uber Eats. Everything's Uber Eats. Right? <laughs> Literally. You know what I don't understand? Mm -hmm. This place is on Uber Eats. Yeah. If you want movie theater snacks at your house, you can use, you know, Uber Eat it. <laughs> Literally. Here. You can make those at home. I can make better options at home. Yeah, that's true. I'm making a second one of this. The Conjuring. Oh, I heard that was really scary. Not really. No, it just involves a nun that looks like that. Ew. 
What was that really scary movie that came out this year? I forgot what it was called. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's actually so scary. It's? No. Um, Don't breathe. Is it The Quiet Place? No, let me search it up. I think it's a quiet place. Everyone's called the quiet place. Imagine Here. you have to be quiet for me being black and also Jamaican. I cannot. I cannot. Literally. I cannot. Quiet. I cannot be quiet. I'll make a noise and I'll die. Like literally. I watch Scream Queens and I'm like, thank you for Kiki Palmer being the only black gal alive in that damn show. Because it made no sense at all. It oh, wasn't hereditary. even that funny. It was hereditary. Uh, I didn't I, see no commercial for that. Everyone was like, oh, oh yeah. It's where um, they um, let the crime go legal and legal. So it's everything, every crime is not legal. Isn't that? Oh. The purge, that's the purge. Isn't that no, the purge? No, the purge is where one day you can do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. No crime. You can't be arrested. You can't be anything. But uh, no, I gotta, I thought, I was gonna think that the quiet place would be the scariest movie. Because you have to be quiet for like the whole thing. Mix sound, it'll get you. In the movie, you have to be so quiet. Like, that's why. I, that's why I say I am black. I cannot be I in the movie I'm like that. I mean, I'm a quiet that. person, but no, like, like the only thing is you just can't talk, or you can't. You, you can't, can't make no noise. noise. Okay, that's hard though. No, but they they haven't. They had they had to figure it out. Like, yeah. They have, like certain things that mark for the noise, like a squeaky floorboard. They have where they have to stamp mm -hmm. marks. That's just making more the work. The thing I liked about the movie is that they actually hired a deaf girl. Because they had to do sign language to communicate with each other, but yeah. they actually hired a deaf little girl. Good though. Yeah. And she was awesome. Was like, I feel like more movies are now diverse. They're getting diverse now. It's like, better now. Especially with superhero shows too, like The Flash and Arrow and DC of Tomorrow. I love those shows, don't get me wrong, but... There's always that one black person in the show, so I'm like, I want to see a show where there's a lot of black people Super, in the show. Supergirl has like two or three, because the alien, she's yeah, black. Yeah, I'm talking about main character wise. No, the alien's the main character. No, main main character, oh, no, not no. Supergirl herself. Um, I'm talking about like I watch Black Lightning. That's the whole I black love that black. Show. I black. Want the second season. Oh, it's coming on October now. It's basically about this kid that got struck by Watch to explain. His, um, his dad was like all for like the people, for safer places and yeah, for kids. And his dad got killed because he was trying to prove people were experimenting on kids. Mm -hmm. And experimenting on people in general. So he got experimented on and then he got the ability of shooting lightning out of his gun. Of course. But then his daughter Two of them. Youngest, two of them. One of them has severe powers, like no time. Like his, role. that's the youngest, and then the other one, she generates. She oh, has the other one just power. has has no power. The, the daughter has power like his, but he's, she's also a battery pack. China and McLean plays in that show. And she's also oh, a battery okay. pack. And remember Chuck from um, sure. um, Riverdale? Yeah. yeah. He was in it. Season one. But he, he was a good kid, and then he turned bad. And. I like that show because they actually hired a true albino to play the role of the mm -hmm. villain. Yeah, but mostly, mostly it's like black on black crime. Like you know, like you see it nowadays. But the thing is, you sell drugs to like these kids and this and that. But most, I like it because the main character is black. Because yeah. at least I can you know relate. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I relate like to other ones, but I just I didn't like how they took China's uh, the girl that played China and the plan. Mm -hmm. I can't remember who she played. Jennifer. Jennifer, his boyfriend, because he got shot in the back. In the spine, like the albino the was trying to get back lightning, but kill not him. him. Yeah. And then it, during by the march. helping him, he turns him evil and with powers. Yeah, but that's how you get. Um, and that 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 also makes the love story with the, between them hard too. Yeah. That's the whole point of the show. You have to be like every week. You have to top it. Okay, you have to watch Dark Matter. Okay. She's okay, just like okay. <laughs> no, here. Okay, I'm so like, basically okay. it's a Netflix show. Mm hmm But it's very like futuristic. Mm-hmm. There's a black main character. Okay. It's called Four. No, six. And they wake up with no memories at all. They're in space, okay. have no memories and they're yeah, guys, post post a basic movie ticket um story on your Instagram. Oh, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so we're gonna, you know, sit down and chat a little bit and I'll talk to you guys next week Sunday. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you to all 12 subscribers that have, you know. So we 
just finished the Meg and before it was raining yeah. and now it's like so beautiful outside, not gonna lie. It could have been this way, this way all day long, but we could have walked around. But check it out. We're going, or well, we're getting back home. Maybe once we get because they have to build their house. You know what I mean? The Meg was a good, you know, movie for a sharp movie, but nothing really new that I haven't seen before. Um, yeah, but comment below what you think of the Meg, and you know what I mean? Like, like this video. So, Silver City, we love you. Trinity Congo, we love you. Got to endorse me. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just like, yo, you gotta endorse me because I'm always coming to your theater. Yeah. Bye. Silver City. It's a beautiful Cineplex. We have so much here. We're gonna have um, guests. The sports check and everything. Like, it's so sweet. No, next time we come, I'm gonna come and see a good movie and then we'll have a girl's day. The girl's day was good. I won't come to this, but next thing you know, you'll probably see more of the girls in, in the box and everything. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you love the box, comment below what you like to see. Um, share with your friends, share with your family, share with, you know, a friend of a friend. You know what I mean? And I'll see you next time. And I will see you as the Dying Little Monsters. And you guys are blessed. Have a good day. And like, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe for new videos every single Sunday. Love you guys and peace.